Thank First you. of all, give us a sense of where our, our sector stands right now, um, more so in terms of the regulatory framework. We do know that in 2003, there was this Cabotage Act that was enacted and essentially it's supposed to draw all economic maritime activity within Nigeria's coastal and inland waterways um, to in, into indigenous hands. But how, has it, how have things played out since the enactment of that law? Well, um, thank you very much. It's neither here nor there. Mm. But of course, there is a law in place. There is also the local content law, which we believe we enhance the cabotage law. We have not achieved the level that we are supposed to have mm. for obvious reasons. You, you, the traditional people doing it before do not want to yield. Mm. And uh, what is required is the, is the will power to turn things around. Mm. And uh, we are very close to it. What about issues of, um, surrounding capacity of indigenous ship owners? Is, isn't that a challenge? Even well, the law supports their growth? Yes, it, it isn't a challenge. The, the challenge that we have is the willpower like is, that has been done in places like uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, where they said the nationals should have this. This is how much they can take now since they don't have the, the capacity to. But of course, they start inching until they gradually. But of course, we have a situation where the cargo is there, but the opportunity to, to get the cargo is not given for, for one excuse or the other. Mm. And of course, is playing out. Mm. Today, uh, we have not achieved the level that we are supposed to have achieved. No, but what kind of other challenges are you facing beyond the level of compliance? Um, there's talk of issues like piracy. To what extent has that affected business for ship owners? Well, I know there is piracy in our waters as at uh, before the, the amnesty thing. Right. You cannot consider what is happening uh, in Nigerian waters as piracy. Piracy is what is happening in, uh, in uh, um, where do I call it? Somalia. In Somalia. Right. That is piracy. In Nigeria, is either theft or, or, or pure robbery. Mm. And if you are able to nip it in the ball like the amnesty thing has done, you can see that the piracy thing as a, I mean, it's not going to die completely because people will still go from shore to, uh, mm. to, to see, to go and see whether they can climb a ship and take something. But that, is, that is not serious. You just mentioned the success of the amnesty um, program. program and, yeah. of course, the, the aggressive drive to bring law and order back into the Niger Delta from the government. Mm -hmm. But it appears as though we are not seeing the same level of will and aggression to get um, the maritime issues sorted out. And, and, you know, some are saying that the sector's potential is possibly as huge as the oil sector. What's, what are your thoughts on the opportunities in the sector? Well, I, I know for sure that uh, the opportunity in the maritime sector is more than the oil sector. Because your oil is worth nothing at the well head without the shipping aspect. Mm -hmm. And all the uh, auxiliary services, especially now that our offshore, I mean, our oil uh, exploration has gone offshore, mm. is today, comparatively, the government, we are losing in close to 30 billion per annum, which is dollars. Mm. And uh, with, that is uh, it's, uh, an industry that can generate five about five million jobs. Mm. So what we are saying is that if those people who know, I mean, they are, they are traditional sea people, if they are brought in and trained properly, the way, and Nigerians are given the opportunity to, shipping is, uh, is standing on a tripod. You, you need to have the job to do first mm. before you talk of buying the ship before you think of looking for money to buy the ship. 
All right. Thank you so much for your thoughts. Um, very interesting points. Obviously, we need the government to get involved and get go going. Go government is involved, but the willpower to turn things around. Say, for instance, Angola is... Um, they started oil uh, something in the 90s or early 90s. Mm -hmm. We started in the 50s or, or late 50s. But Angola is already sending our oil out on CNF basis. We are doing ours on FOB basis. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is the willpower okay. that is required. 